Today guys, we are going to be doing some mining in Carnival Roleplay and we're going to go ahead and craft some jewelry and sell it off and get some cold hard cash. Sadly, the audio kind of got messed up on this so I ain't going to be doing a voiceover here. But right now, let's spawn our car in, let's head up to the quarry and start mining. There's two places you could do this, the quarry which is right there or you can go to the actual mine and do the exact same thing. It's personal preference, whichever one you want to go to, just head over there. Now that we're at the quarry, we're going to go and talk to this guy right here. You're going to want to hold alt and right click on him and that little eye will appear. Now you can see you could purchase a bunch of stuff from him. You can see we have a lot of drill bits and a mining drill in our inventory. You could purchase pickaxes, but they tend to break fairly often, but if you're just starting out, they're perfect. I would recommend getting a mining drill and a bunch of drill bits and then you're ready to go. And then obviously you can also get the mining laser, which is really OP, but it's also fairly expensive. So I went ahead and purchased a bunch more drill bits since I already had my mining drill and now it's time to go mine. When you turn around, you're gonna see all these giant rocks on the side of this cliff. You're gonna wanna click Alt and right click it and then it'll say you could start mining this rock and then it'll start mining. Like I said, if you use a pickaxe, it'll probably break fairly often, and if you're using a mining drill, the drill bits will always break, but you're gonna wanna have a bunch of them just in case, and once you do that, you're gonna get stones. You're not gonna get gold or diamonds or rubies or anything like that right away. You're gonna get all that stuff after. So spend as much time as you want here mining all these rocks. Just know they do take up a lot of space in your inventory in terms of weight. At the start, you can only carry 120 pounds, so every once in a while, walk over to your car and then just interact with the trunk and and you could toss all of those stones into the back of the trunk because trust me you're gonna want to have a lot of this stuff because once we head to the foundry you're gonna be able to make so much money and as a new player that's extremely beneficial as you all know at this point after about two minutes i had 25 stones ready to go i could have kept going but for the purpose of the video i just wanted to showcase this to you and show how much money you can make off of two minutes of work so now we're gonna head on over to the stone washing areas there's four of these on the map there's one right here another one over here we got one right there and then one all the way up here. I'd recommend going to the one I'm going to because it's honestly just the easiest one to get to. So we're going to head over there and start washing some stones. So once you get here, you pretty much walk into the water, do the same thing you did last time, hold alt and right click, and then literally just click wash stone and it'll start washing it. And once it's done washing, you're going to notice you're going to get some gold, sapphire, rubies, or diamonds. Now they're not going to look normal. They're going to be uncut and we're going to go and cut those later at the foundry. Now, you don't actually need to do this, but doing this will make you the most amount of money. There's another thing you could do. Right after you mine all those stones, you could just go straight to the foundry and crack the stones open, and you'll get iron, you'll get copper, you'll get carbon, and you'll get scrap metal, which businesses use, like mechanics, to fix cars. So you can actually sell those things to them as well, but if you really just want to make the most amount of money, this is what you're going to want to do. So let's go ahead and wash all these stones and then make our way to the foundry. Just before we head to the foundry, we're going to go over to the jewelry buyer at Vangelico's and take a look at the prices because he's going to be the one we're selling all of this crap to. So you can obviously sell diamonds cut or uncut to him for 100 bucks a piece, along with sapphires, rubies, and other stuff, which we're going to do in just a little bit. The main thing we're looking at here is gold stuff, like gold rings and gold necklaces, because those will sell for the most. So whenever you go to the mine, get a bunch of stones and clean off the stones, if you get a lot of gold ore, you are literally golden, because that stuff will sell for the most. You use one gold ingot and you get three necklaces or three rings, and then you can sell those necklaces for 500 bucks a piece, and you can sell those rings for 400 bucks a piece but you can also make diamond necklaces and sell them for the same price, but you're honestly just losing a hundred bucks there. So why bother doing that? Obviously take advantage of it and make the most amount of money you can. So now that we know the prices, let's head over to the foundry and I'll show you guys what to do there. By the way, if you didn't know where it was located, it's located right here on the map. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the stone cracking. So once you get inside, you wanna walk through here, jump over this bar and just pretty much follow the path I follow. When you turn here and once you walk down this hallway to the left, you're gonna see these two machines. Do the same thing we do every time, alt and right click it, and then start cracking some stones. And it'll take a couple of seconds, but once you do that, like I said, you'll get some metal, you'll get some iron, you'll get some carbon, and you could sell that to people like my friend Seth, who owns a mechanic shop, and he'll buy it for me because he needs that to repair stuff on cars. Like for example, me, I'm missing two doors and I'm gonna need to go see him later in order to get that stuff fixed. So you could do that and you could sell that to him if you want to. If you don't want to and you wanna make more money for yourself, you're gonna wanna bypass this. Just clean all the stones off and then we're gonna go ahead and smelt it. So we walk over to this giant smelter right here, do the same thing again, and you can see anything that has a check mark next to it, we can smelt. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now and get a bunch of gold ingot, which of course is what you need to make the necklaces and the rings. So smelt as much as you possibly can, 
and then we're gonna go over to the jewelry cutting machine and make some fire jewelry. So now we got all of our gold and get ready to go. So the cutting machines are right over here for the jewelry and you will need a drill bit. And if you don't have one, this guy right next to me will sell you one for 50 bucks a piece. Like I said, they do break fairly often, so get a couple of them. So we're gonna make a bunch of gold chains. Like I said, these will sell for the most amounts of money. So make as many of these as you can, which is what I probably should have done. But I also made some gold earrings and some gold rings just because. But if you want to make the most amount of money, always make gold chains. And now all those other things like the diamonds and rubies and sapphires and stuff, you can make jewelry out of those. But like I said, it's kind of just a waste of time and money because you could just sell the diamonds to the actual jewelry store for 100 bucks a piece, sell the chains for 500 bucks a piece, or you could sell a diamond chain for 500 bucks. Like I said earlier, it's just a waste of money. So yeah, come over here, make gold chains or gold rings or gold earrings, and then we just head on over to Vangelico's. By the way, if you do end up cracking any of those stones open, you could literally just sell the ores to this guy. And since I was here, I was just like, you know what? Might as well get some free money, right? So I just sold all of the stuff I didn't need off to this guy and just made some quick money like that. So now we're at Vangelico's Jewelers, and now it's time to make some real money. Before I started this, I had $31 in cash and now we're gonna sell off those gold chains those gold rings We're also gonna sell off the diamonds sapphires rubies and emeralds We have since I'm not gonna bother to make any jewelry with those because I'm just in the market to make some cold hard cash so you can see in the top right hand corner the money is rolling in and look at how much money we get when we sell off all of our gold chains we literally get six thousand dollars and don't forget I barely spent any time mining, so the second I am done this video, I'm going straight back to that quarry, and I am going to mine as much as I can, get it all in the back of my car, and I'm going to sell it all off and hope to get roughly around $50,000 for about 30 minutes of work, which is really good. I'm assuming most of you guys watching this video are probably from Grand RP. Now, the economy in this server is brand new. If you want to buy a business like a gas station or a hookah lounge or a weed shop or a mechanic shop, they all start at 200 grand. And if you want to buy a nice car, it really isn't expensive either. You could buy a ton of awesome cars, like for example, an Itali GTO for like 200K as well, I think. And then if you wanna buy some nice real cars, there's a couple of BMWs you can get for like 50K. There's a Tesla Model S Plaid you can get for 50,200 bucks. Don't worry, I'm gonna make another video going over all of the sick ass cars you can get in this city because there really is a lot of them. And you can also start your own criminal empire, also known as the CEO business type of thing. And it starts at 200, thousand bucks. I'm going to go over that in another video as well. Like I said, there is so much stuff to do in this city, and the best part is, it's not pay to win. The RP actually makes sense, unlike a lot of other RP servers out there, and it's honestly just a ton of fun to play on. But if you've never played on 5M before, there are a few settings you're going to want to mess with or else your game is going to be really messed up. You're probably wondering why my graphics look so bad on this. It's because I set it all to normal. If I didn't, 5M would kind of glitch it out. So it runs a lot smoother like this. No delay and everything is pretty much top notch and perfect. But anyways, that is going to wrap things up for today. We made $10,000 for about three or four minutes of work at the mine. Like I said, I am literally heading right back up there the second I'm done this video and getting that cold hard cash. But anyways, that is going to wrap things up. If you guys want to join the server, the Discord is down below in the description. All you got to do is search up Carnival on 5M. The server will pop up, create your character, and start making some money. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.